Hey everyone, it's MK here, um, and today I'm actually doing something completely different than what I normally do on my channel, which is video games. I have somewhat reluctantly gotten into the fidget spinner craze, and I thought I would do a review of a fidget spinner that I just got. Um, I've seen a lot of reviews out there, but not necessarily that many for... Um, the spinners that are readily available on Amazon. So I got this Izune spinner on Amazon and I thought I would just do a review for it. So let me first start by showing you um, this spinner which is just a standard one that I got for $5. Um, and just so that you can see the size comparison <clears throat> It's pretty, it's made of, looks like aluminum, but it's metal, but it's pretty light for a metal spinner. Um, just to show you how it spins. <clears throat> I really like the way it looks when it spins. It's got <clears throat> these metal balls on the edges, and they themselves are fixed in place. They don't spin, <clears throat> which is... May, which may be slightly disappointing for some people. For me, it wasn't a big deal. I just like the effect that they create when you spin them and the light hits them. I think that's pretty cool. And I'm going to bring it a little bit closer just so you can hear it. It's fairly quiet, although it does have a little bit of a kind of a high-pitched sound to it that might be a little bit louder than some other spinners which doesn't bother me at all <clears throat> and I actually like it but some people might not really appreciate it um, just to compare here's how this plastic spinner sounds this is actually a pretty quiet one. <clears throat> oh yeah I wanted to show you this one um, it's pretty balanced it feels nice in your hand I can Balance it on one finger pretty easily. My thumb. Um, so yeah, this was, I believe it was $15 on Amazon. It's Ezoon, E-Z-O-O-N. And <clears throat> um, I really do like it. I like the size and I like the weight. It's, it's a lighter spinner for a metal spinner. And so it spins pretty fast, but it doesn't spin as long uh, because it's lighter. And I'm not going to sit here and make you watch like a spin time or anything, but um, it's, I timed it and it spins for a little over two minutes, which is interesting as compared to this regular spinner, which spins this $5 spinner, which spun for over five minutes, which I was pretty impressed with. This one was not expensive. It was $15, I believe, on Amazon. Um, you know, with Prime, it's free shipping. So this was not expensive at all. Um, <clears throat> but I, I just thought it was interesting that it has such a low spin time, which doesn't really bother me personally, as long as it <clears throat> has a nice spin to it. I don't really care how long it spins, because I don't really just sit there and let it run out. I usually just spin it, stop it, spin it, stop it. That's kind of how I fidget with it. Um, <clears throat> but, um, yeah. Oh, one thing I do need to mention is that, uh, I don't know if you can see, but like right here, it just, it came with some scratches on it. Um, it's, I don't know if you can easily see it in the video or not, but um, I just got this today, and I haven't dropped it or anything, and um, right out of the package I noticed it had a little bit of scratches on it, so I don't know if that happened during the manufacturing process or or what happened, but um, it doesn't bother me that much, but for a new product right out of the bag, it, it shouldn't have that, I feel like. Uh, speaking of bag, it came in this little leather pouch. Um, it's nice. It's nothing special. It's um, it's very thin. It's not real leather, but it's it's nice to, to keep it in. 
And I'm glad I have this because if you look closely at these balls right here around these edges, I think dirt could probably easily get trapped in there and dust and stuff. So definitely when I'm not using it, I'm going to keep it in the pouch. Um, <clears throat> let's see if there's anything else I have to say about it. Oh, these caps do screw off and you can take out the bearings. They're not like glued in or anything. You can take them out and clean them or replace them. But one thing I do need to note is that I took them off just before shooting this video. And when I put them back on, <clears throat> the spinner was so much louder than it is now and it was like kind of grinding. And it took me several tries of taking them off and putting them back on till, till I got like this quieter sound that it had right when I got it. <clears throat> so I guess I didn't have the thumb caps like properly lined up when I screwed them back in but that was that worried me for a second because I was like oh I just like messed it up but it shouldn't be that easy to mess up but anyway it seems fine now so I'm not really gonna complain too much about that um, if I had had to give this a rating out of five stars I would probably give it a four I really like it <clears throat> um, like I said the only thing that bothered me a little bit was the scratches that it came with um, but I, everything else I really like about it, it the way it feels like this this spinner it's a little you can feel it wobble a little bit it's just kind of clunky whereas this one is just so smooth and I love that little like high pitch sound it makes some people might not like that as I said but I really like it um, so yeah, I would definitely recommend this spinner if you're looking for, um, a fairly inexpensive metal spinner. Um, anyway, yeah. Sorry if this review's a little bit choppy. It's the first thing like this I've ever done, but I think I'm planning to do some more. Um, if you enjoyed this review and you'd like to see more, um, I'd love if you gave this video a like. Um, what I'm planning to do is buy maybe three or four more, um spinners from Amazon and compare them and give my review and feedback and, and say which one I like best and stuff and do pros and cons. So I'm planning to do that in an upcoming video. Um, and if you want this eZune spinner, I will put the link in the description below. And it comes in all different colors and um, yeah, it's a really nice spinner. I would I would definitely recommend it. I don't I don't have any really major complaints about it. But yeah, thanks for watching.